Give me your hottest chilli. Good luck, your time starts now. You're all young and you've all got great opportunities. Welcome all of you to participate and attend Chinese Kukulon fried pork with chilies competition. Today is actually the exciting time to see what amazing dish you're going to cook from the regional recipe with your creative ideas. I'm very envious of the lucky winner who is going to have a trip of a lifetime to China. Changsha and Hunan is a really culturally significant area of China. The heritage of that province is very important. All of you here today are part of that cultural journey. You're part of developing that mutual understanding of cultures and passion. And there is no better way to actually reach out to people, I believe, than through food, because I think food is the vehicle or the conduit through which we can all come together. We look forward to seeing the winner later. My first impression is the amount of time it's taking for them to, to prepare the food. Uh, I'm just watching the different contestants here preparing the vegetables and the, and the detail that there's the taking over it is much more than I, I've done in the past yeah. but I will do it. I will try this in the future. Lots of things going on there, different ingredients uh, to see how the chili pork has been cooked, varieties of chili has been used. Hopefully they have got the uh, combinations right to balance the heat and the flavors and everything that they're putting in there. Any things you'd like to share about the secrets or any creative ideas you've um, today? Well, I've made my own um, Szechuan chili oil. So oh, really? To fill that with it and cook with it. Um, you have your own? Yeah, I made it. Earlier. You made it yourself? Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> Cannot wait. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Good luck. I'm just trying to emulate the original dish rather than adding anything extra to it. I just thought instead of trying to add loads of extra things, I'd just be like chili, pork, bit of soy, Simplicity. salt. Yeah. It's going to be hot. I walked all the way up to Eastern and went to one of the markets up there and I was like, give me your hottest chili. And they were like, take this. So, uh, yeah. Chef, you have got 10 minutes left. Master Chef, your turn now. So before the judges, uh, you know, have a taste of your food, could you give a bit of explanation? Uh, I think I kept it quite simple. I kind of wanted it to be like, sweet but also spicy at the same time so hopefully it tastes good. These are good nice lovely flavours the spice comes through and it's also got um, nice sweetness to it as well it's a nice dish. Are you nervous? Yes I'm very, very yeah. nervous very but nervous, yeah? I'm quite um, excited to see what the outcome is. So this one has a special meaning and it's very Anything special you'd like to share about your dish? For the most part, it's normal. I deep fried it to get crispier, and I use Shaoxing wine for different flavors. If you go for the blunt tasting, definitely I will think it's a Chinese chef who cook it for it. It's very authentic, really nice. I think I did quite well. A few things went wrong, but you can always do better at the end of the day. There's always something that could go a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, I think you did really well um, in like 
not letting the pressure get to him because he can get quite worried at things, but he did really well, really proud of him. There would have been a time where he wouldn't have joined a competition like this, so he's come a long way in the last couple of years. And it was like a good experience for me. Good experience. Yeah, because it's the first competition. Yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of you. I think you've done really well and I can't wait for you to cook for us at home I'm also. <laughs>